In this video, I'm going to provide some basic terms to provide a foundation for us for the, the course moving forward. I want to make a distinction between a population and a sample. So a population is basically the complete set of individuals, objects, scores, cases that we are interested in. So we might be interested in the entire human race, or we might be interested in uh, teenagers, or we might be interested in uh, a certain breed of dog, or we might be interested in a certain type of tire. So it's basically whatever the population that we're trying to generalize our results to. Now a population could be impossibly large to study in its entirety, like, like all people in the United States of America, or it could be possible to study an entire population, like all of the workers at a specific factory. So uh, depending upon the, the research scenario, we might have access to the entire population. Most likely we do not, and most likely instead of studying the entire po population, we will study a sample. So a sample is a subset or fraction of the population of interest. To the extent that the sample is a good one, it may be possible to generalize the results of the sample to the population. In other words, to make an inference uh, based on the sample as to what the pattern or relationships between variables are in the population. Uh, so as we've already mentioned, statistics are often used to make inferences about the population based on data from a sample and the extent to which a sample is representative. Uh, we may be able to make that determination with some certainty. There's always some uncertainty involved. So statistics is really about modeling and trying to reduce that uncertainty, but nonetheless, since we are making decisions based on a sample, uh, to try to generalize them to the population, there will always be some degree of uncertainty involved. So for example, let's say we wanted to see if salt lamps have an effect on one's mood. Uh, so we might select a sample of, let's say, college students. Let's say college students are nearby, they're easy to obtain, we can uh, give them some extra credit to participate in this study, and we go through the IRB and we get ethical approval to conduct this salt lamp study, and we get a sample uh, of college students. We're probably not going to get every college student in the United States. We're probably not going to get every college student on the campus that we're conducting the study, but we'll get, let's say, you know, just to, to throw a number out there, 120 college students. And we randomly assign 60 of them to encounter the salt lamp. And we randomly assign another 60 to not encounter the salt lamp, but hold all other things equal. And then we assess their mood afterwards, and we attempt to determine if there is a uh, large enough difference between the two groups to conclude that salt lamp lamps have an effect on mood, or we might uh, decide that there's not enough evidence to conclude that salt lamps have an effect on mood. So a couple more basic terms that I'd like to go over uh, are variables. So a variable is basically anything that can change or take on different values either over time or within the context of a study. So uh, one variable that almost every study involving humans might measure is the participant's age or the participant's sex or the participant's ethnicity. All of those things are variables. A constant, on the other hand, is a property that takes on a fixed value, at least in the context of a study. So in the context of the um, kind of silly salt lamp example that I was talking about, uh, we might hold constant the university that, that the study is taking place at. We might hold constant the room in which the salt lamp or the not salt lamp condition takes place. We might try to maintain the same temperature of that room and keep as many things as possible constant in an attempt to isolate the effects of our salt lamp variable on our mood measure. A statistic is a summary calculation or a summarization of data based on a sample. So many people just call all of the computations we're going to do in this class statistics. However, more appropriately, statistics go with samples, so sample statistic, whereas a parameter is a summary calculation based on the entire population. 
So when the calculation, let's say we're just calculating an average or a mean, uh, it's a statistic if it's calculated based on the sample, and we would probably be more appropriate to call it a parameter if it is based on the entire set of individuals or cases of interest. Now again, most people will just call all, all of the, the formulas and the, the uh, calculations we're going to do to summarize data in this course statistics, but you can make a distinction between sample statistics and population parameters.